Ooh, like just what I do. You oh. continue to fail. Thank you, Peter. You're learning. Not quite as gifted as Sears' last apprentice, but not bad. You've been keeping count. I'm surprised she didn't tell you. Sarah was never good at keeping secrets. And you know her so well, huh? Mm. <laughs> she was weak. Cracked in an Imperial torture chair. Surrendered the location of her naive Padawan. They would never have found me. What? If it wasn't for her, oh. she betrayed me. Who's the fat one? In the flesh. I won't let you manipulate me. So sure are you? When faced with the choice to protect herself or her Padawan, she chose self-interest. She'll sell you out too. Well, I can handle myself. <laughs> Can you afford to take that chance? Your new master harbors great darkness. The look on her face when she saw what they had done to me, as I am now. She turned, exposing her true nature. She used the dark side. She <gasps> cut herself off from the yes. force. Oh? How long before she cracks and betrays you too? Is that who you want beside you when you find the holocron? What would Jaro Tapal say? You have no right to mention his name. I wonder, what would he think if he could see his Padawan now, skulking in the shadows with a betrayer, granting her access to a legion of impressionable students? No. I won't let anyone touch them. You're my protector. I thought the same thing once. That was a good fight. The second sister revealed that she was one Sierra's Padawan, Trilla, whose location Sierra gave up under Imperial torture. Trilla was found by the Empire and transformed into an Inquisitor. Uh, she's lucky. Usually when the Empire finds Padawans, it's just kill on sight. They take, uh... Actually, no. There's... The only other Jedi that I know of that became an Inquisitor is the uh, Grand Inquisitor. He was one of the Jedi um, Temple Guards. And the only reason he became an Inquisitor is because he hated the Jedi. Well, not hated, but... He was annoyed with the Jedi. Because he wanted to access the Jedi Archives for... Not forbidden... Well, yeah, I guess forbidden knowledge. <laughs> <clears throat> And Yoda in the council was like, nah, dog, you're not going to, you don't need to go. These are not the books you need to look for. It's like, those are the books I want. And I was like, no, just forget about it. 
Only darkness will you find. And he's like, fine. So as soon as, like, literally, I think, like, a week, no, not even a week, days after Order 66, him and Darth Vader march into the uh, the Jedi Temple in Coruscant. And I'm pretty sure they kill um, Joe Castanu, who was the Jedi librarian. She had, like, this badass, um... It's like a lightsaber that turned into, like, a Jedi rifle. I don't... Like, a sniper rifle. Pretty cool. Obviously, it wasn't enough. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I think that's the only other person I know that was... At least used to be a Jedi. Then turned Inquisitor. And again, his was like his own, like, I'll join you if I can have the knowledge. And they're like, oh yeah, go ahead. Help yourself. Read everything you want. And he's like, good, I will. Mm -mm. Otherwise, other Inquisitors are just, uh, they're usually, and then the thing that you need to understand about Inquisitors is that they're not strong in the Force. They're like, bare minimum. Like, they... They lack the ability to become a true Jedi or a Sith, but they have just enough connection. I guess they're force sensitive enough where it's like, we can train you and you can do, I guess like, I don't want to say half that what, is, what a full fledged Sith or Jedi could do, but like, I guess the bare minimum push pull, saber combat, of course, I mean, Technically, anyone could learn that with enough dedication, but... <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah, they're, they're, they're generally, with the exception of the Grand Inquisitor, they're lesser in power. I don't know, I was gonna say, like, they're like force, evil force babies. <laughs> Oh, thank God. I was like, that looks like a gap. And then I immediately fell. Break these bugs. Thanks for the help back there, BD. You saved my life. And got us closer to the tomb. I will. I think I only have. Uh, let me see my skill tree. Level two, right? Two, two, two. Wait, no, this is all. You got this. Thank you. Uh... Okay, that should be good. Run, grab the vines. Okay. Oh, even easier. I found it, but it's here. Why didn't you tell me? Because she's a liar. You. How? 
I rerouted communication the moment you tried to contact her. Slicing encrypted transmissions was always a pastime of hers. She taught me once. There's no technique Sarah has that I haven't perfected. Uh, While well, it was true that the Empire was closing in on the Tomb of Mictrol, Kel rushed to Zepho to find himself caught in a trap laid by the second sister. She revealed herself to be Trella, uh, Sarah's former Padawan. After a prayerless battle, Trella seemed to get the upper hand in Cal, but before he could strike him down, before she could strike him down, uh, BD-1 intervened, positioning an unbreakable laser field between Trella and Cal. As Cal escaped into Mictrol's tomb, he tried to call Sarah, but was interrupted by Trella, slicing his comp. Interesting. Again, mind games. A lot of the... A lot of the tricks that the Inquisitors used to try to lure Jedi to their death was A. Pretending to be either um like in the in the case of the, the Grand Inquisitor, he was he was one of the Jedi Temple Guards. Um he would act like a Jedi Temple Guard and it's like, I need your help over here. We're like we're building Rebuilding our, our ranks and then people would go he would send out a message people would go to them and then he would just strike them down uh -uh, That's one case of him actually he I mean he was Him just being his former self, but other inquisitors, you know impersonate other Jedi they would also take the biometrics of like um, Fallen Jedi or Padawans they would keep them aboard. Oh, ah. so they get interrupted. Just trying to tell a story. Unity. I handled it pretty well. Um, but yeah, I think I was talking about. Uh... Okay, I thought I heard like water. Um, oh, I do hear water. Like I was saying, the uh, Inquisitors would. Another another means of luring Jedi to their doom is to get like. The, the fallen bodies of Jedi that they slain that would keep the biometrics alive. I mean, they would keep like the signal. They would torture Jedi, have them pretty much like read this, ask for help, <clears throat> send that signal out. When a Padawan or fellow Jedi would hear the signal and try to attempt a rescue, uh, they would find out that the. Uh, the Jedi is like already dead. They just have the body on hand to like <clears throat> give um fake uh not biometrics like uh, life vital vitals. There we go. That's what I'm so life vitals. But yeah, that's a, a little Inquisitor knowledge for everyone. Yeah, freaking air. My friend, these devices appear to simulate the planet's gravitational pull. Yes, force pull. I can't help but see it as a motif. This place, less a tomb and more a temple to one one uh, ruler's pride. I found repeated glyphs with the same word, Astrum, always near damaged statues. I believe this Astrum was once a uh, once an uh, ambiguous sacred symbol, perhaps even linked to the vault. 
This planet's gravitational pull. I can't help but see it as a motif. Hmm. Oh, I was like, what what the heck caused those to those vines to burn? And I looked. I really looked. Okay. Uh, this is Okay. Similar to when I got here, but not not quite. You're running out of time. For what? My scouts located an artifact of interest at the rear of this tomb. Even now I'm studying it. Learning. It seems Cordova was rather taken with these Zephyr. Perhaps enough to hide the holocron amongst their bones. We'll see how much you learn. Come on and fight us! Ah. So fast! With these, finesse and with these. Okay, uh, this is obviously a puzzle. Hmm. Contract. Hmm. Oh, it gives off wind, I think. Um. Actually, I think I need to use it on that. Means. something votive candles the most common offerings brought to uh, mictrol's tomb was uh, votive candles generally encased in metal and adorned with carvings it said that their flames represented mictrol's unending power Different ways to go through. Don't see it. Oh, it's on the other end. Whoa, oh. It's like that's a huge uh, space. Game. Across the door. 